if I have to describe it in one sentence, it's all about empowering citizens to exercise their rights, especially those of them that are in vulnerable position. And we do that based on the concept of the AAA services, which is provision of information, legal advice and free legal aid. Due to the extensive research and advocacy activities in the framework of the AAA project, Association for Democratic Initiatives in Bosnia, together with other associations and civil society organizations, managed to implement activities and influence our government to bring the law on free legal aid. During this project implementation, we uh, had, I would say, significant level of collaboration with the uh, EU stakeholders or different uh, institutions that provide uh, legal advice and, and uh, information uh, to citizens throughout the Europe. For our organization, the main purpose of this project was actually to advise people in a variety of legal areas about the rights that they can realistically and objectively achieve and exercise. Ugovora o radu, dok sam bio na bolovanju, saobraćana nesuća je bila u pitanju. Kad sam izašao iz bolnici, jednostavno mi je čovjek treće lice, ili kako se već kaže, donijelo neuredne papire, odnosno kopije, otkaze ugovoru o radu. I tako da sam ja išao od vrata do vrata, molio kumi, ne jaš novca, ne jaš ovo, ne mogu na biro za zapošljavanje. Niko neće me primi. Živila sam sa čovjekom babračno 20 godina i pošto je preminuo nema nikakva prava, ni socijalno, ni ništa nema. Ljudi su me privatli saslušali, napisali smo neki sudski dopis, tužbu, uradili su posao kako treba. Predali su sad na sud, dobila sam jednu odbijencu, pa sad šta će biti? Tako da sam ja već na završijetku procesa sudskog, nadam se, odnosno pozitivno je sve bilo. Pohvalila bi ih, dobro su bili, izašli su mu susret, nasavjetovali me kako trebam, šta trebam. Through the AAA project, Foundation of Local Democracy uh, get the possibility to implement its ideas in practice and to improve the position of marginalized groups of uh, citizens in Canton Sarajevo in exercising their human rights and basic freedoms, uh, but also to improve and to strengthen its organizational skills and capacities. After 40 years of marriage, I had to finish the marriage of the family. Smještali nas u sigurnu kuću, preporučili smo centar za pravnu pomoć. Otišla sam kod njih, oni su mi prihvatili, jako smo primili, saslušali moju priču i rado su sa mnom primili da se borim za svoja prava. Oni su mi pomogli da dobijem samo pouzdanje, pomogli su mi da se zaposlim, zajedno smo okončali razvoj braka i u toku razvoda braka pomogli su mi da mi muž daje izražavanje do kraja života. The project completely affected the rule of law by ensuring accessibility and continuity of free legal aid services. In other words, it improved basically access to justice for marginalized groups of citizens in Canton Sarajevo. Uh, the project had also uh, its development component as well, uh, which resulted in uh, formal cooperation between FLD and other nine governmental institutions and the adoption of the strategy for development of free legal aid in Canton Sarajevo. We have uh, uh, a lot of development problems, also problems which we inherited from the past. The main uh, benefit for my organization from AAA project uh, lies on the experience that uh, we gained 
during the, let's say, study visits in, in uh, EU countries, where we had the opportunity to, to observe and to see how the system of uh, free legal aid and free services for citizens is organized in these countries. So we are trying now to, to bring that experience in, in uh, uh, Western Balkan uh, countries. The project really brought together a lot of providers of free legal aid and other services from the region. We are on the same path and we are helping each other to see how to develop different systems of providing free legal aid and other assistance that the organizations are providing on this regional level and how to really advocate for the advancement of that kind of system. Concretely to UCOM, it uh, really meant uh, that we were rethinking the quality control of, of the services uh, that are provided to citizens, so that we really developed uh, the system of uh, the control of uh, the quality, so that the citi citizens that come to our office, that come to our uh, offices of our partners, have the best uh, service uh, that can be provided uh, related to legal aid or other assistance or information that we are we are sharing. UCOM Komitet pravnika za ljudska prava me kontaktirao 2012. godine kada se pojavio tekst u jednom dnevnom listu u Beogradu koji je iskoristio moje privatne fotografije sa albanskom zastavom. To je dovedeno u kontekst govora mržnje, najstrašnijih kršenja etičkih kriterijuma novinarskih i tada je UCOM pokrenuo tužbu protiv tog dnevnog lista koja je i dalje u toku, dakle od decembra 2012. godine. Znači mi smo nekih pred deseta godina upali u ovu priču jer smo izgubili dete lekarskom greškom i onda smo tražili pomoć. Pomoć u smislu pravne pomoći. Imali smo tu ponuda raznoraznih i trajala je to godinama dok se, da ne kažem na kraju, ali pri kraju svelo to da imamo kontakt sa Jukom. Znači, došli smo do saznanja da oni to rade, da pružaju pravnu pomoć i sve to i što je nama bilo neophodno. I ustopili smo u kontakt sa njima, oni su nam ljudi pomogli. Baš je da je nama treba, da ne kažem, podrška, pravna pomoć, da im budemo sigurni i podršku da imamo. I imali smo od Jukova, smo imali stvarno svesudnu podršku i pomoglo nam je. Sudovi nisu navikli da rešavaju u slučajevima govora mržnje, da nisu naviknuti na standarde ljudskih prava, niti na poštovanje međunarodnih konvencija, niti na sve standarde koji su usvojeni domaćim zakonodavstvom. I pokazuje se prosto, osim nekompetentnosti, također da se sve obesmišljava dužinom postupka zapravo. Since the beginning, Ombudsman strongly supports the work civil society organization and cooperate with them. In all annual report, Ombudsman highlights the importance of their role for the realization of the rule of law. In the same time, civil society organization are very important and very active partner to the Ombudsman in his work because indicative the systematic problems. One of the such problems is the question of the free legal aid. I think that the main achievement of this project is the um, fantastic communication and cooperation among different um, providers of free legal aid. Um, all those NGOs working together, I think they um, they helped uh, in this improvement and I think that uh, all citizens can see the difference now. Mogu reći da imamo jedan ozbiljan politički problem koji je trajao više godina i nisam prosto mogu da ga rešim na neki drugi način. Dobio sam advokata koji je predstavljao naš slučaj sudu i koji je to uradio do kraja. Tako da mogu biti zadovoljan da se taj slučaj završio pozitivno za nas. Za mene i moju majku. There are two very important activities, uh, part of this project, that um, 
helped us in a way to uh, continue our work in uh, advocating for a better free legal aid system in uh, Macedonia. Uh, this was the advocacy roadmap and the organization of the national conference and um, campaign. We succeeded to put uh, together all the relevant stakeholders from the country in one place and uh, we um, uh, find that the way, the right path to improve and to uh, draft um, uh, new recommendations that will actually improve the system for free legal aid. The Macedonian Young Lawyers Association is now a part of the working group that uh, is responsible for drafting a new law on free legal aid, which means that our advocacy act activities were successful and they um, uh, gave us the direct access to uh, the working group and as well the direct access to contribute in improving the uh, system for provision of the AAA services and including the free legal aid. The project that we are implementing through this AAA network, uh, the name is uh, no, more, no More Victim of Violence, Prevent, Protect, Proceed. Uh, so through this project we were giving free legal aid to victims of violence. We also had five uh, workshops with people uh, for the theme of uh, violence and non-violent action. Uh, and uh, at the end, we brought uh, cases to the court if there were any. Most of the countries now in the region, in the Balkan region and in Turkey, there are laws for free legal aid provision. Uh, I think Serbia is the only exception so far, although there is already a bill which is discussed in the parliament. However, the fact that there is a law does not necessarily mean that it's effectively implemented. So we have to look into it. We plan to solicit the ideas of the citizens themselves about what doesn't work in the system and what should be improved, to take it on board, to advocate for those improvements, as well as, of course, to build more and more synergies between all the providers of information, legal advice and free legal aid. Not only the civil society organizations, but also the bar associations and also the local agency, which are um, also given the responsibility by law to do so. For the future, we would like to, of course, to reinforce this network. Um, we would like it to grow and we would like to uh, also take care that the uh, quality standards are enforced uh, by, the, by the network members. Uh, we would like to facilitate that process through a self-evaluation mechanism, which we are putting in place currently. And we would also like to uh, work together with them on all the reform processes which are linked to Chapter 23 uh, of the European Negotiation for Accession. We believe that this framework is uh, very convenient to achieve those reforms in the justice sector which we are advocating for. If you're a civil society organization that provides direct access to information, legal advice or legal representation to citizens, I invite you to join our network your place might be within it so that we can help citizens together.